in this tutorial I am going to use V-Ray Displacement Modifier to create grass. We are not going to create uh, detailed grass with V-Ray Displacement and uh, if you want to create detailed uh, grass we will use other ways such as uh, V-Ray Fair. My scene here is very simple, just a plan and you can see with the view a few segments and I'm using the V-Ray Sun. I need to go to modifier and apply the V-Ray displacement modifier and of course I already set my rendering system to V-Ray I have a very simple setup just using radiance map and brute force and uh, everything is very low setting so, I have applied the V-Ray Displacement Modifier. I have two choices, 2D Mapping and 3D Mapping. 2D Mapping is usually used when I'm going to create uh, grass for landscape, very big scene, mountain, hills, and 3D Mapping can be used for the smaller scene. However, in the V-Ray 2, in fact, there is not so much difference between these two uh, options, these two types. The main difference here is what kind of the map I can use inside uh, these two types. If I'm going to use the uh, 2D mappings, I just can use the bitmap or 2D procedural maps, 3D max 2D procedural maps. And if I'm going to use the 3D mapping, I can use also the 3D procedural maps such as the cellular, noise, falloff, dent and many of the, these maps are 3D procedural maps. Okay, for example I'm going to apply the noise here. This is uh, 3D procedural maps and the checker is 2D procedural maps. How I know these which one is 3D, which one is 2D procedural maps is very easy. Okay. When I uh, select them in the coordination system, 3D procedural maps, uh, the coordination is set to object X, Y, Z. But the 2D procedural maps is set to explicit map channel. So, if I need to use the 2D mapping, and I want to use uh, 3D procedural maps very easily just change the source to explicit map and keep in mind that these uh, I need to change the size also so it's not just a matter of changing the source also I need to change the size because they use a different coordination For this tutorial, I'm going to use 3D map as I have a, a small field and it's such as a, a small garden. So, my source is uh, set to object X, Y, Z. For the V-ray displacement uh, for grass, I need the black and white dots to create the small grass leaves. I can create these leaves, this grass by the noise modifier, sorry, by the noise uh, 3D procedural map, or I can create it by the Photoshop. Just have a create uh, one new page canvas and use the black and white here. Go to filter, noise, add noise, make sure monochromatic is active and we are using uniform or Gaussian no matter and just change the amount so we will have the black and white dots the white one is actually your grass leaves and the black is where it, did, it will not be changed so let's change this noise size to 0.1 and uh, I need to change the high and low to 
change it to make it more contrast and it is a still uh, not uh, the difference between the contrast is not so well so I can also change the blur to the lowest part to don't have any blurry effect here ok I will apply this to the texture map instance and change the amount to 10 and everything is set to default and render the scene and here is the result you can see that the, the size is quite still big but before I change the size I need to change the quality the quality edge length is set to 4 I change it to 1 and render the scene again when I change it reduce the edge length the quality will be higher however the render time will be increased so now you can see the details for now I want to increase the amount to maybe 20 and render the scene again it looks not bad for the grass and now I need to just apply a material use very ma material just with a texture bitmap just use a grass texture and just see the result so you can see the result is quite good and look like grass one of the problem that you may face when you are using V-Ray displacement modifier is that you cannot see, it, see the result on the scene unless you render it it is the difference between the V-Ray displacement map and 3D Max displace so if I want to see how the texture set on my ground here I can just do the small test and just use the, this map my displacement map as a diffuse map for the material just apply it see show the standard map and I can deactivate and just can zoom and see the size of the map on the viewport and even I can render it very fast to see the result so it is how you can check the size of your displacement map on the viewport also ok so we have learned how to create the grass but there is one problem here if I'm going to use a, a big scene or uh, you cannot uh, see the edge of the my plan this is okay but same as this scene if my grass is going to be connected to the pavement or to the street sidewalk then the edges of this plan will be a problem for me such as for example here I have a small pavement and if I just render this part so you will see this is upper than my pavement and I cannot move it down to check render and render to check where it should be I have one option one is the shift just use a negative shift but it is not really a good 
choice. In this case, I have other ways to solve it with the maps. Here, I click on the noise and use another map, another procedural maps called tile. Keep my noise and just put my noise as a tile texture. Use the growth texture as a black color and I don't want it to be tile actually just I want it to be one by one so one uh, sorry I don't want color variation I don't want any fade and this also set to one and zero so you can see I have one black border around my uh, displace texture and black means no moving so let's try it right now and you will see that uh, here this part could not move and it will be set to uh, the ground and if you find some place such as here it, uh, it is so much or it is so less you just can increase or decrease the, your growth to have a bigger border or a, line, uh, a smaller border and uh, sometimes you need to move this gr ground or pavement inside the grass so it will not be shown so I just have a one full render and here is the result so we have a small ground a small field and garden full of grass and we don't face any problem on the edges another question is that how I can make some variation on the grass because now they have all the same height but I want to make some variation some be shorter some be uh, taller in this case I'm going to use V-Ray uh, composite texture very simple but very useful the source A will be my noise texture and the source B I will use another noise but with a different size for example here I'm going to use the 50 to be big and to uh, mix these two I'm going to use uh, multiply so here you can see some place will be darker some place will be lighter so uh, let's apply it instance and just pay attention that this compared to the first one is quite darker so probably your grass will be shorter totally let's render and here is the result you can see from this view at the border that some are shorter some are taller so and you can change the noise shape become bigger or smaller to change the variation so it is how we can uh, change the size of the grass other things that can be happen to our grass is that Okay, some people walk every day from this side, so this place will lose the grass. So I just clear this and I'm going to use the gradient ramp. White color at both sides and uh, black color because I don't want to have a displacement at this part so white and will be white color and you can see here the result but this is so straight so just make a bit noise it's very big change the size and ok that's
place should be enough and of course this place should not be grass so I'm going to use the material another material for the grass I'm going to use the very plain material very plain material uh, the coat material should be the grass and the base material should be our sands here just change and tiling and use the same map as the very blend mask here so you can see the result I apply it Let's apply and also let's apply this new texture. It's better always use the instance. And let's render the scene. And here is the result. But now we still need to add the variation on the grass. So I will go to the gradient ramp and use the same noise map here and apply it just right click on the flag and add the texture here, paste the same texture paste to the both fourth flags and now I will render it again and you can see the result we keep uh, we are mixing the displacement maps to create what we want on just one a small plan which doesn't have also a lot of uh, segments So, the last thing I want to have you, you have seen, of course, uh, there are the steps and the steps of the stones, and between these steps, there are the grass. So, I want to create this effect too, as our last try with the V-ray displacement modifier for grass. So, uh, I will copy this material or not, I will just use the same. Oh, I, co I copy, I want to keep it to just, uh, we can compare that so I remove this source and I'm going to use the checker map checker here, so you can see some place will be the black one will be the stone and the white one will be the uh, grass and for the grass part, also the tile, I need to apply the checker again keep it so we have two checker here and I need to use the add operator and uh, swap the colors here I don't want the tile be on the black one, I want be in the white one. So swap here. So you can see that the white part will be the stone displacement texture and the, this part will be the our grass. So we have two part, two different displacement. One is the stone which is white totally and one is the grass which is the white and black. Okay, now I need to use the same uh, for the texture just change the base material which was the sand to the some kind of the stone and of course our mask will be the checker one here but one thing is that uh, I don't want this to be just one tile I want the more maybe five 5 to 5 
I will change both checker to 5 to 5 so you see the result and the next I want to yes use the same tile and I believe I'm doing wrong I need to swap the texture and let's have a try and use the same instance and let's render the scene you can see the result the stone displacement here and the grass well we are facing one issue which is actually the stone is going up so much so again we need to use the tile now we cancel it back here and for the stone also I'm going to use the same tile using the tile keep it same way we will use just swap these two black color and I believe it was the 0.5 for the another so this is the result ok this should be horizontal and also no fade variation nothing all will be zero and this is the result here so let's render it again so you can see the result is almost at the same level of the grass growing or so we just need to reduce a little bit the black side of the tile or we can move this pavement inside the, our uh, grass field so these are the way that we can use the create actually we didn't do so much with the displacement modifier we just try to control and make a different kind of the displacement procedural texture